Happy Friday. Good morning. I'm feeling great today. It's a gray, sort of rainy, drizzly day, which I love. And I'm feeling super inspired because I found this book. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, Lisa Congdon is amazing. I'm kind of late to the game with her stuff, but I'm a forever loyal, devoted fangirl now. She's incredible. Um, we have sort of a similar story in that we're uh, taking the art to a professional level sort of late in the game. This book is tremendous. Do you see how skinny it is? Okay. I didn't even make it through the first chapter and already I had so many new ideas and tricks and inspirations and tips and stuff. Um, I just, it's so beautifully written. It's, it's no nonsense. It's about, I don't know if you could see the small writing, but it's called Art Inc. The Essential Guide for Building Your Career as an Artist. And it just... It's so good. It's so, so good. Um, so yeah, check it out. I'll be talking about it for sure as we go along. So, um, but that's not what I want to talk about today. Not the only thing. Um, I just wanted to share a little tidbit about... Uh... <laughs> I don't know what it's about. Here it is. <laughs> so I'm really big on visualization. I think it's huge. Um, I try to keep these videos at around four minutes, so I'm not going to go into all the science and research behind it, but it's not just... Um, wishful thinking, imaginary craziness, as the quantum physicist put it in The Secret. I love how he says that. Um, visualization works, and they have done this with Olympic athletes and seen their muscles fire and their performance improve, and they've done brain scans. And so, yes, visualization is a really big deal. So I love this idea of like visualizing yourself in the future and really feeling into it. You do it like two to four minutes a day and then you let it go. It shouldn't be a chore, it should be fun. Um, and it really propels you to where you're going. Like it's, I think it's a crucial tool to build the life that you wanna build. However, I'm also very big on mindfulness and being in the moment and really enjoying where I am right now and accepting where I am and, and just soaking that in too. So I was noticing this sort of disconnect where I Sometimes I would start visualizing because my life as it was now was kind of feeling intolerable. Like I was impatient with it. I was impatient with the numbers in the bank account. I was impatient with the house I was living in, um, the people who shared space with me. I was just kind of getting sick of it and so I would visualize and it was almost like an escape tactic. And that doesn't work, right? Like it, it can serve its purpose, I think. Like if I'm in resistance and I'm feeling frustrated and visualization will help me calm myself, and soothe myself and sort of reset, then that's great. But I didn't want to be in this place where I was just living in the future all the time. So this thing that I started to do was um, I started to approach the life I have now as if I was on vacation from the dream life, right? So this, is, this has been awesome for me because I don't know about you, but when I'm on vacation, I love everything. I love being broke if I'm on vacation. I love the dirt and the alleys if I'm on vacation because it's new and it's exciting and I love all the people and I love riding the bus and everything's exotic and fun and, and badass and everything's an adventure, and I always know that I only hear, I'm only here for a little while and then I'm returning to my other life and all is well. So it's really helped me uh, to just really enjoy and soak up and appreciate and be mindful where I am today while keeping this future reality as like, starting to treat it as a more believable, real reality that I'm just on a really cool vacation from right now. I don't know if this is going to work for everyone. Like, as I'm saying it out loud, I realize that could sound like a form of escapism too. But, but what it's done for me is it's helped, it's helped my visualization game in a really big way because a critical part of that is practicing believing it. Like, you have to believe that you're capable of reaching these sort of heights and features and goals that you want to attain, right? So when I think of myself as on vacation today and my future life that I'm envisioning is what I'm returning to, it really helps ground it in that it's real and I'm going home, like I'm going to it. It's not just some fantasy that I'm concocting, right? And then this whole piece about this life right now, today, being vacation, it just livens everything up. I feel like I'm paying more attention. I feel like I'm more appreciative. Um, I don't feel trapped anywhere. Like that was what was becoming intolerable was if I was looking at the bank account or looking at the apartment and like, I want more, but I'm stuck here. Like that feeling is really low energy, low vibe, and, and that's a great way to stay stuck, right? But if it's vacation, then then things are just a little quirky. You know, they're not intolerable. They're just like, oh, this is weird. Um, it'll be nice to go home, but this is, you know what I mean? So try it out if you want. It's working wonders for me. It's made my life a lot more fun and lively. And um, that's what this is all about, I think. So have a great day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.